seems like just the other day, because it was, that the media and their handlers in the Democratic Party were browbeating anyone who noticed there were riots going on. There are no riots. What? Pay no attention to the guy with the BLM tattoo on his neck assassinating a Trump supporter. It's a mirage, and if you believe it, you've fallen for Russian disinformation. Well, on Monday of this week, they changed their position 180 degrees. They had to. Their poll numbers were tanking. They were bl being blamed for the riots they started and encouraged. So now everyone agrees that violence and rioting are, in fact, happening. We should know who's been paying for all of this. Rioting doesn't come cheap. So we looked into it, and tonight we can report that elected Democrats, office holders in Congress, in local governments, along, of course, their allies in Hollywood, bankrolled it. They were major financial backers for the domestic terrorism that ravaged entire cities, entire neighborhoods in Minneapolis, for example, this summer. You remember that in May, Memorial Day weekend, after George Floyd died, rioters caused half a billion dollars worth of damage in Minneapolis. Two people died. At one point, the mob torched a police precinct after the city's mayor, Jacob Fry, ordered authorities to abandon it. Well, now we know that a Minnesota group called the Black Visions Collective was the primary organizer of those violent riots. The New York Times has called that group, quote, integral to the protest movement that erupted following the killing of George Floyd. Just a few weeks after the precinct burned down, a woman called Miski Noor, she's an organizer with the Black Visions Collective, told Vox.com that the riots made her, quote, extremely hopeful. She's a nihilist. Ms. Kinoa referred, referred to the riotings as an uprising and a rebellion, quote. Meanwhile, the director of the Black Visions Collective, a woman called Candace Montgomery, publicly humiliated Mayor Fry for not committing to totally abolishing all law enforcement in the city. Why? Yes or no, will you commit to defunding Minneapolis Police Department? What yes. am I saying? Yes. We, don't yes. we don't want no more police. No Is more. that clear? Yes. Oh, All right. Yes. 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 The main effect of this unrest is to give an awful lot of power to the dumbest, least creative, least interesting, most violent people in our society. And there's a reason they have more power, because they've been collecting a lot of money. During those riots, donations to Noor's group soared. The Black Visions Collective received $19 million in donations online since Floyd's death, and his partner organization, Reclaim the Block, got $11 million. Much of that money came because top Democrats raised it for them, effectively. The day after the police precinct burned and Joe Biden voters demolished dozens of local businesses, Sandy Cortez, who is a sitting member of Congress, tweeted this, quote, now is the time to step up for the frontline organizers who've been engaged in the struggle for justice in Minnesota. She urged her mindless followers to join Ilhan Omar, Ayanna Presley, Rashida Tlaib, the usual, to raise $50,000 for the Black Visions Collective and reclaim the block. Separately, this is hard to believe, but it's true, former Obama cabinet secretary Julian Castro called for donations to Black Visions Collective and Reclaim the Block. He urged Democrats to, quote, provide support to those who are on the front lines demanding change. The front lines, like this is a war, that's what they think it is. They don't believe in our justice system. They think things should be adjudicated with violence in the streets. And because none of these riots affect Beverly Hills, celebrities also joined in to raise money. Here's talk show host Jimmy Kimmel in June, desperately hoping you won't remember he has worn blackface and used the N-word several times. Watch. What I think mostly I was excited about with the Black Visions Collective is it's all Black Lives Matters. The website is blackvisionsmn.org if you'd like to go to it and join us with a donation. Flacking for a revolutionary group advertising their website, uh, effectively soliciting money for them on TV. That's not a political disagreement. That's not liberal versus conservative. That's just wrong. That's disgusting, actually. Democrats raised all of this money. A woman called Aluchi Omiyaga, who co-founded Black Visions Collective and works with Reclaim the Block, made it clear what the group really stands for. She declared that looting is a form of reparations. It's not stealing, it's reparations, and she called for more of it. Watch. 
I know that there, um, the things that are being taken are being redistributed to the community. I don't have an opinion on like what, like what is, is it good or is it bad to loot? But I do understand the, the use of, um, reparations in this time looking like taking from corporations and giving back to people who actually need the resources and now we're seeing that we're able to give those people those things because target was looted because cup foods was looted and they're able to redistribute that to the community they're being redistributed to the community right so everyone gets a new pair of sneakers poor people don't think that's true poor people know what stealing is it's stealing looting is stealing You'd have to go to some private college to come up with a view as stupid as the one that person has. And no doubt that person went to some private college. Bottom line is these are radical organizations, genuinely radical. And Democrats knew that well before the rioting started in Minneapolis. Back in 2015, the leaders of the Black Visions Collective spent 18 days occupying a police station. But the money flowed in anyway. Several months before Noor organized her uprising, the Black Visions Collective received a $25,000 grant from the city of Minneapolis. The irony, of course, is obvious, and in retrospect, it's tragic. They gave money, taxpayers gave money to an organization that helped destroy their city. The Minneapolis city government effectively funded its own destruction. Of course, no Democrats have repudiated their support for Black Visions Collective or reclaimed the block, just like they haven't renounced the Minneapolis Freedom Fund, which bailed out many of the rioters. In fact, they haven't renounced BLM or Antifa either, both of which are radical violent groups. The Minneapolis Freedom Fund was promoted by Kamala Harris directly. Joe Biden's staffers endorsed it, too. They redirected donations to the Black Visions Collective. The point isn't just that Democrats won't condemn the people behind these riots. The point is they want these riots to happen. They're paying for these riots. How much have they spent trying to rebuild our cities? None so far. That tells you everything.